No guys, this is not a dream. We finally freaking got him, baby. If you guys would like to pick up either of the figures you see in today's WWE Elite Figure Review, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, use the promo code MDTOYS, and you can save yourselves 10% on all the awesome action figures over there on their website. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video, and today we have Elite Series 69, Ricochet, and Ali in our freaking presence. I waited a long effing time for you two to show the hell up, but you're finally here, and we're gonna get going on these reviews. It's a two-in-one elite figure review, guys. You know how we do it. We got first time in the line Ricochet, first time in the line Ali. This looks incredible. Been waiting on these figures for about forever. It's been forever. 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 But they're here now. They're freaking here now. And not only that, guys, we have two sets. We have two sets because I ordered a set on Sunday and then Ringside ended up sending my set out to review for you guys. So we have two sets of Elite Series 69. I'm very excited for them. We're going to do some customs, fix-up, surgeries, farts in a hole, farts in a bag, farts in a sand, farts in a sand castle, farts in a pool, farts in a hole. I'm super freaking ready, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Starting out, you have your beautiful images of Ricochet and Ali here spinning it around. We have pictures of Ricochet and Ali. On the back, you get your good old jazz. You guys know we have a beautiful image of Mustafa Ali, and we have a beautiful image of Ricochet. Here, you got the rest of the figures in the way. Probably the best wave ever. You got little bio reads there. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Spinning them around again, you got their names on the sides here. You can't even see Ali. He's like a stupid idiot. And that pretty much does it for their packaging, guys. And now the wait is finally over. I am finally going to crack them out of their packaging and feel them against my hand. All right, let's cut the weird shit. Get them out of the box. And here is the beautiful Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. Not Ali. It's it's Mustafa Ali. It's Mustafa. It's Mustafa. So here they are out of their packaging, guys. They look fantastic. They're not perfect figures. They are not perfect figures by any means. And we're going to get into all that. But we, I want to praise these figures for what they are because, first of all, I love Ricochet. I'm a huge Ricochet fan. And also, I am a huge Mustafa Ali fan. So I am, I am marking out just looking at these figures. I had to review them first. They had to be first. I knew you guys would be waiting on this review right here from MDT on these two figures because these are the two best in the set in my opinion you know just straight up factual information I mean the other the other figures are great and this is probably the best Elite Series ever right but but these two right here are the cream of the crop so what we're going to do guys is we're going to get into the reviews right now and what we're going to do first is take a closer look at Ricochet's accessories and then Ricochet and then we'll take a closer look at Mustafa Ali's accessories and Mustafa Ali all right, guys, so with Ricochet, you really don't get that many accessories. We, of course, get his entrance coat here, which looks really nice. I am a fan of this. I actually do like it. It fits on the figure nicely. One thing I will say it is it, it is kind of difficult to get off, so I would be careful with that. And there's actually an issue with my Ricochet or one of my Ricochets that we'll get into in a moment. But what's really cool about this is you have all the wing detail in here, and you can actually pop these out if you don't want these on here. I don't know why you'd ever not want them on there, but if you don't want those on there, you can actually have it without the wings. You can also, you know, use these for something else I actually have an idea for this that I'm actually pretty pretty cool with that I'm that I'm excited to get into but there is that you got really good details going on with this with the sculpt work and then we have two pairs of interchangeable hands one of them that comes on the figure is just the open hands you know the regular mic holding hands and then we have these right here and guys these are freaking massive like when I say massive they are freaking massive like his fingers are so long like look at this right here look at how freaking long this hand is here it is compared to his regular hand and when I say they're big man they are just big they just look awkward I don't know what it is the way they sculpted it is just weird it really doesn't look that bad when you hold it up to the figure like this but like straight up it is it's massive like it it looks it looks big on the figure and uh, we'll look at that later on with them plugged into the hands but uh, you know this is his pose when he comes out on the ring during his entrance with his hood on and all that good jazz so there's your only interchangeable hands that come with the figure besides the one that come on the packaging but there's there it is, guys. That is all you get for Ricochet's accessories. So now that we've covered that, let's dive into Ricochet himself. So taking a closer look at Ricochet himself, guys, just look at this head sculpt. I think this is one of the better head sculpts that Mattel has done. I mean, it looks freaking epic sauce. I really do enjoy it. I think it looks just like Ricochet. Uh, maybe one thing I will say is maybe the eyes may could be a little bit smaller, but I, even then, I mean, I think that would be nitpicking. I think it's a perfect head scan. I think the torso, this is a new torso mold. 
Um, if anything, maybe the outside, you know, like the top part chest, may be like the Rollins mold or the Sin Cara mold, but I don't think so. I think it looks like a brand new torso through and through. You got his beautiful abs in here. You got his tattoos. All the tattoo work looks great. And um, the only issue that mine has is that his right arm is a little bit loose. You guys can see here, I'm like barely moving it and it's turning. And then on this one, uh, you see that like the wrist turns instead of the arm. And then over here, the whole arm twists instead of the wrist. So that is one thing that sucks. Hopefully my other one that I got isn't like that. Hopefully, you know, it's a tight arm and I don't have any issues with it. Um, you got his black wrist tape on there. All of his tattoos look good. No complaints there. Back looks great. Um, going down into the tights, there is an issue here and the thing is, is that he, first of all, he's not on ball joints. He is on a, I think these are Christian lower legs from the crotch down and them making it that way made him way too tall. That actually made it where his, uh, he's actually taller than Mustafa Ali and on the back of his box, you will notice that it says 5'10 on Mustafa Ali's box and 5'9 on Ricochet's box. However, Ricochet is taller and that is not right. So what we're going to have to do is do some surgery on it, which we will. And on the tights, you got all his nice black and gold going on. Not my favorite attire of his, but it is still cool. You got the black on one side, gold on the other, and spinning it around. You have all his nice logos, all of the line work, all of that. You got his boots here and you got his logos again. You got the black and gold going down. And one thing again is no knee pads. He actually wears knee pads, so that sucks that he doesn't have knee pads, but I'm not complaining. Other than that, I mean, it's a pretty damn good figure, even if you don't fix it up and make it the correct height. It's still a really good figure, and I like it a lot. Really strong figure. I love it to death, and I cannot wait to pose this guy around and get going with some different things for Ricochet. So there is the Ricochet figure, guys. Now that we have done our full review and detailed look at Ricochet, guys, let's take a closer look at some Elite Figure Ricochet comparisons. So taking a closer look at some Ricochet Elite Figure comparisons, guys, you will see here you have my custom Elite Ricochet that I did myself and you will notice that mine is the correct height. You know, I got the custom head sculpt on there. You got the uh, Dolph, this is a Dolph Ziggler torso. I hand painted all of these tattoos and it looks pretty good for the most part. I think that uh, it looks pretty good. I don't think that mic is supposed to be that freaking big. I think mine's more accurate in, in, in size there, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I think it looks good enough. Um, you guys can see spinning it around there. I didn't put anything on the back there, but uh, I like it, man. I think it looks pretty good. It's not too crazy and and I actually have some car legs on this one, and I think I have AJ Styles' lower legs on that one, and we're going to fix this guy up on some surgery, do some different things, and show you guys how to fix up your Ricochet if you got this figure. But this is the only Elite figure comparison that I have for Ricochet, guys, because we haven't had another Ricochet figure. So now that we have covered Ricochet, guys, let's take a closer look at Mustafa Ali's accessories. So for Mustafa Ali's accessories, guys, just like Ricochet, you don't get that many things. You do get the open hands here, the mic-holding hands, which we've seen before with the Usos. But on his figure, Figure, you do get these Iron Man or Sub-Zero hands, whatever you want to call them here. You got, you know, the, the lights going on in there. And this is a new hand mold. I'm pretty sure his fingers kind of look broken on that hand. But you do get two open palm hands, you know, for his entrance and stuff. You know, he sticks the one hand out. I'm pretty sure he doesn't wear one on the left hand, but they gave you two hands anyway. And, you know, you got the nice little uh, blaster there is what you can call that. And you can't interchange that. You got some detail going on in the back. And then moving on to his other accessories, you do have the face mask with the yellow on there. There, it goes like that. It's kind of like the Kalisto one we've seen in the past. It is a new mold, though. You got the yellow pattern going on. It just goes over the head like you saw at the beginning of the video. Nothing too crazy going on there. And then we have his entrance vest, which I am very impressed with. I love the sculpt work on this. I love the details going on. And you got the nice little logo here. I'm not seeing this logo on the image on the back of the packaging. That's not, you know, I don't know if that's just because they added that or maybe he had that on a different attire. But this, this looks good nonetheless. I really like the sculpt work. I love the gray and black on top of each other gives it a realistic look you got all the yellow lights and on the back you got a ton of detail going on with these clasps like look at all this detail work like all this different sculpting and they're using a different technique when uh, adding these like this is going to stay on the figure much better than they used to guys because they actually have like these holes and they made these where once they go in they're harder to come back out so that that's definitely an improvement on these different vests and things of that nature I really enjoyed that so that is it for Mustafa Ali's accessories guys we have the face mask we have the vest and we have the interchangeable hands so now that we have taken a closer look at his accessories guys let's take a closer look at Mustafa Ali himself so taking a closer look at Mustafa Ali himself guys you will see here we have the head sculpt and this is my only complaint about the figure. I think that the head sculpt 
just looks odd. I think it's too big or something. I think the head on this body, am I crazy? But this head just looks too big in my opinion. It's kind of like the Elite 66 AJ Styles. It's like they just made the head sculpt too big. And it may improve if maybe you added a different torso, but I don't know what torso you would add here. Maybe an Usos torso would work or maybe somebody, I'm not sure who else you could add here that's the right skin tone that would look better. Maybe Sin Cara. I don't know how that would look though. You know, I think that uh, this torso can work for Mustafa. You could even use a more ripped up torso if you wanted to, but I think it does work. It's just the head sculpt. I may shave down that neck right there and I think that might add a little bit to it. I think that may look, make the head scan look better, but uh, the, the likeness is totally there. It totally looks like Mustafa Ali. I really enjoy that. And we've covered the arms here. You got the Sub-Zero slash Iron Man hands going on. You got the black long wrist tape on there. You got the yellow attire, which I really enjoy. I love the yellow. We don't get enough yellow, man. I think this is one of the only figures that we've gotten yellow before in tights. Like, I know we got the Christian in Elite 20, which was like 50 series ago. And then um, that's the only one that comes to my head. We probably have a few more as I look around my room here. I'm sure there's more, but I cannot think of them off the top of my head. If there's more, let me know down in the comment section below. But you got all his stripe patterns going on. And it's really cool. The first time he wore this attire was at Super Showdown. And Motel, we actually did a video like this on the channel where we talked about how they actually got this figure out so fast in this Elite, uh, in this attire, just like the red one that he wore only at WrestleMania 35. And then they pumped that one out so quick as well is because they're actually contacting talent now um, and, and finding out what they're going to be wearing so that they can pre-make the figures as best they can. So you got all this great kick pad detail going on. It's really cool now that we have some yellow kick pads that we could use for a custom if we wanted to, you know, pop these off and acetone them off and use the yellow base for a kick pad. That's really cool. Never had been able to do that before. He's also not on ball joints. So if you guys were wondering, you cannot just remove the legs like on other customs, but that is pretty much your Mustafa Ali figure, man. I really do enjoy it. I think it's great. I'm really pumped for it. Again, the head's a little bit oversized, but nothing too crazy. Nothing uh, a little bit of fixing up can't do, and we'll see what we can do about that with shaving that neck down. But uh, that is pretty much it for Mustafa Ali, guys. So now that we have covered Mustafa Ali himself, let's take a closer look at some Mustafa Ali elite figure comparisons. So taking a closer look at some comparisons, guys, the only one I have, just like Ricochet, it's sort of another reason why I did these two together is because I only have a custom of these guys to compare themselves to. And this one's not too bad. You know, it is a Jimmy Uso head scan, but it kind of favors Mustafa Ali. It's kind of like a cartoony version, you know, if I had to guess. You know, it's got the just all black attire. It's not too terrible, though, you know, comparing the two here. But you guys can see how big the head scan is on the left when you compare it to a regular normal size Mattel head scan. This head is clearly too big, and it's pretty obvious when you put it up to another figure. Like, it's it's pretty freaking known. This one's literally 15% bigger or so. So that is that is definitely my biggest gripe with the figure. Nonetheless, it's still a great figure, and I'm very happy with it. So, But that pretty much does it for your Mustafa Ali Elite Figure comparisons. But that is about it for this 2-in-1 Elite Figure review on the brand new Elite Series 69 Ricochet and Mustafa Ali figures. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I'm still mind-blown that they're finally here, guys. We finally waited it out. We sat through. We chilled on the sidelines, and we freaking just waited, man. We waited, and 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 they're finally here, and we got the review done for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which ones you want to see tomorrow. Do you want to see The Miz and Ray? You want to see Ray and Bob? You want to see Bob and Ray? You want to see Bob and Miz? You want to see Chompa and Bob? You want to see Chompa and Miz? You want to see Chompa and Ray? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys did enjoy the review again. Again, after we get all the reviews done, still tonight to come, guys, leave your notification bell on. Be ready. We're going to talk about all of the brand new figure reveals from Mattel at San Diego Comic-Con. They're going to be posting them, and I'm going to be updating you guys. We're going to upload preview night is tonight, which means they're not going to show us a lot tonight, but they're going to give us like a teaser to what's to come tomorrow from Mattel at SDCC, and tomorrow's video is going to be pumped out fast, guys. We're going to upload a review early in the morning of whatever figure you guys want, and then we're going to hit a brand new Mattel reveals where we're going to cover all the brand new action figures that they release all throughout the day. I'm super pumped, man. I cannot wait to see what we got. Elite Ziggler, Jack the Ripper, Finn Balor, crying in the corner or not. I don't give a damn. I'm ready to see what these figures look like, but that is going to do it for this review. Stay tuned for tonight's preview of Mattel SDCC, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. 
watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Seriously, go over there and do it. I know I say it every video, but you guys don't always go over there and follow, man. Go over there and follow so you can check me out on Twitter. I'm always ranting. I'm always raving like a little girl. And then go over on Instagram. We're always posting epic shots. I got a really sick shot I'm planning to do with this Bobby Lashley figure, so I'm excited to do that one. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tonight. Thank you.